While many may think of infertility as a woman's problem, male infertility issues account for 40% of couples who are struggling to have a baby. Now, researchers at the Columbia University Fertility Center have reported the first successful pregnancy using a new artificial intelligence method they developed to help with male infertility. The center says its sperm tracking and recovery method, also known as STAR, has helped a couple conceive after nearly two decades of trying to start a family. It works by locating and recovering sperm in men with azoospermia, a condition in which male samples contain little to no sperm cells. Dr. Zeb Williams joins us now. He's a director of the Columbia University Fertility Center. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate your time. So how did you get the idea to use AI for this and how does it work? Oh, it's a great question. It actually starts appropriately maybe for the name of the star system with the stars in astrophysics. So we've known for a long time that one of the most heartbreaking and challenging diagnoses to give is azoospermia, where a man is told, I'm sorry, you have no sperm. And in the past, that's sort of been a very final diagnosis. But we looked to the astrophysicists and how they were able to look up into the stars and see a sky of billions of stars and find one or two new ones. And we said, maybe we can apply some of the same technologies. Maybe we can apply AI, high-speed imaging, microfluidics to allow us to find those one or two precious sperm and then to be able to give them the gift of having a child. I mean, infertility sometimes is incorrectly thought as a woman's problem. Can you clear that up for us? Huge misconception. So about 40 to 50 percent of the time, there is the cause for the infertility is partially or completely due to a male factor, sperm factor. What is next in terms of improving fertility treatments? This is a field that's gone through such tremendous progress over the last four decades. You know, we've gone from success rates of less than 1% to now well over 90% for the best prognosis patients. I think what we're seeing happening more and more is that fertility treatment is becoming safer, it's becoming more effective, and it's helping more and more couples and patients realize the dream of parenthood. Dr. Zev Williams, thank you. Thank you.